My neighbors always ask me, hey Pete, how do you keep your yard so nice? Pete makes it simple with a Scott's Turf Builder feeding program. It's the best way to get the yard you want all year long, guaranteed. All it takes is four easy feedings. Just once in early spring, late spring, summer, and fall. Providing nutrition and weed control to keep your lawn lush and green. So, now you know my secret. This is a Scott's Yard. Pick up a Scott's Turf Builder program today. Welcome again to a highly questionable Wednesday. This gullible person over here will be fooled by my father at some point during the show. Mina Kimes, ESPN the Magazine, senior writer. What do you like on the show today, Mina? I am not going to be fooled by him today. That's wrong. Okay. He fools her every time. Dale, papi. Well, the NFL's rule change solve some major problems. Okay, not sure about the cadence of all that, but will the NFL's rule changes solve any of the NFL's health problems? They've got an image problem. You've got an image conscious league that's trying to make a violent game safe, and you cannot make a violent game safe. You can only try to make it safer. So, no more helmet as a target. And if you use the helmet anywhere, if you use it as a weapon, you're going to get penalties that are stiffer than even the ones you get in college. You're going to get ejections. This is the one way that they can actually make some changes changes in real time. I don't know if the players can do it in real time, avoid all the helmet hits, but they're doing everything they can to try to avoid that, putting them in that position. Every time the NFL changes a rule, it's like one of those old-timey cartoons where they're scooping water out of one side of the bow and it's falling into the other side of the bow and then they're sinking. This raises so many questions, such as, what does it mean for offensive players like running backs? What will it take to instigate an ejection? How many times will they be reviewed? And I think most importantly, does anyone actually believe officials can adjudicate a tent in real time? Now, I agree with you that something needs to be changed, probably something fundamental to the sport. But this change, the likelihood that it's actually going to alter players' behavior, is probably outweighed by the potential consequences we'll see on the field. I do think, though, one of the things you have to consider in what she's saying, whether the NFL can actually make the sport healthy or not, none of us really know. We don't know how sincerely they're actually trying. But even if you believe that they can make the sport healthier... Look at this news today and say they're not trying because these rule changes are the NFL showing everybody, the image conscious NFL, hey, we're trying as much as we can. You know how you can eliminate getting that penalty? How's that, Poppy? You play with no helmet. Oh, That's it. see? No helmet, see? No problem. You That's can't it. use the helmet That's as right. a weapon if That's you right. don't have a helmet on. That's now right. you have another set of problems that form there playing that violent sport with no helmet, but he's right. This guy playing 3D chess. Could you see the Patriots taking a chance on Johnny Football? It's a little bit hard to believe, but the Patriots, maybe throughout sports, now that Kawhi Leonard is feuding with the trust and management in San Antonio, this is the team that has a lifetime immunity, it seems like. Anyone they sign, anyone they try out, anyone they look at, even though they've done it with Ocho Cinco and failed, and Big Daddy Wilkinson and failed, that every time they look at somebody, you wonder to yourself, what do they know that we don't know? They're the only team in sports with that kind of immunity. This morning, across America, people who work in sports, TV, and radio woke up, saw this story, and said, thank you, yes. Hot Take Gods, yes. for yes. giving us this yes. blessed piece of content. Uh, yes, on Wednesday. And yes. the best part of it is, as Dan said, there is a grain of believability to it. Because remember, this is the team that signed Tim Tebow. They are the team that's most likely that to failed. take a flyer. That failed, by the way, but that grain, we but will they, take that they grain. They will try. That grain, and we will water it, they and Bobby will, will throw some fertilizer on it, and it will grow into a magical yeah. Wednesday of men's out talk. And we will see who's laughing when they convert him into a deceptively quick slot receiver and he catches the game-winning <laughs> see, pass you know in the Super Bowl. Happen. You know it's going to happen. He's going to be a pro bowler at that position. Did LeBron James convince you that he deserved the MVP last night? Oh, Poppy. Oh, yes, last <laughs> night. That the the Miami sweet. Heat by 20. Oh, but my I father careened you from the building, shirtless <laughs> with a bottle of liquor. He wasn't home till like 6 o'clock in the morning because Dwayne Wade blocked LeBron, shot a couple of times, and the Heat win by 20. And afterward, though, LeBron James said he'd vote himself for MVP, which was nice of him. Somebody asked, and according to the Associated Press, he said he would vote for himself. I think you got to go James Harden. And I think you got to go Damian Lillard. But if you ever want to argue that LeBron James is the best at basketball that season, you're not going to get much of an argument from me.
Yeah, I can't believe we waited until the third question, by the way, to address the heat. But he has been literally shaking with That's anticipation right. what can I say? to talk about I'm, this. I'm, wait, wait, let him go. Let him go. Uh, let him. Obviously, he's not the MVP. It's James Harden. Fun fact, James Harden has actually been better on defense this season Ooh. than LeBron. Can we make fun of LeBron for saying he believes he's the MVP? Sure, but it's part of what makes LeBron James such a singular human being. An athlete is his insane self-confidence, even when he probably doesn't deserve it this season. You know what I enjoy most about the game? That LeBron only went to the free throw line five times. Mm. Every time he got blocked under the basket, yeah. you know, he kept he kept complaining yeah. to the referee. Yeah. He kept complaining. He five free throws and he five. missed one of them. He only got in a set of 15 oh. or 20. He got only four. Oh. He kept oh. to the referees, you know. And after the game, right after the game, and, you know, he went into the locker room. He grabbed that telephone and he called Alan Silva and said, oh, listen, yeah. you know, I got screwed well, tonight. Yeah, I mean, so from now on, moving on, you want to make sure they got 15 to 20 free throws a game. Otherwise, you know, you're going to have a real problem in your hands, you know. Even if that means you got to come out and, you know, I referee the games, you know. We're in a week, you know, so nobody recognizes you. And sunglasses, you got to come out and do it. All right. Hey, hey. Wow, he hung up the imaginary landline. And that joke, if you didn't catch it, is Adam Silver is going to come out on the next game wearing a wig and make 10 extra calls for LeBron James. Did Isaiah Thomas make a mistake by playing this season? I feel so bad for this dude. I do not want to sit here and mock him or wonder whether he made a mistake. His body has failed him, and now he needs to have hip surgery tomorrow. And rare is the time that an athlete goes from where he was, running a city in Boston, sure to get a max contract, to now he's two teams later, his hip is broken, he's undersized, and there is no telling whether or not he's got a future in the league of any kind. So you have to be careful with how you pay him. It's rare to go from that close to the mountaintop to maybe not a lot of money at all. This is one of those funny things in sports where sometimes the idea of someone can be more valuable than the reality. We see it a lot around the draft. It's why people are asking if Missouri star prospect Michael Porter Jr. should have played at all after his injury. Maybe he would have been more valuable and his draft stock would have been higher if he hadn't even tried to play. And I think, as Dan said, that's undeniably true with Isaiah at this point. Because if he had never played our last memory of him would have been him putting out 53 points against the Wizards instead of beefing with LeBron, and he probably would have made more money this offseason. One of the great coups of my lifetime is the Celtics parlaying Isaiah Thomas into bringing Kyrie Irving. They made him a superstar in the league when he had never been a superstar in the league, and imagine how he feels today, hurt, left behind by that city. After playing in playoff games after his late sister, that team traded him, and now his career isn't going to come close to getting the kind of money if it would have if he had merely stayed there healthy. Well, I bet the uh, calf and the Lakers wish uh, he didn't play this season. Okay, really cruel after we did some heartfelt stuff feeling bad for Isaiah Thomas. My father comes in with the hammer. That's probably what a lot of you were thinking, jerks. Well, we don't remember Vlad Guerrero Jr. spring training walk off. Oh, Papa, you remember Vlad Guerrero Sr.? Oh, you remember, remember him? Senior. That's right. He was a stick. Yeah, he was a stick. That's true. <laughs> and he played for the Expos. He was probably the most famous Expo and maybe the best Expo ever. Now his son, as the spring training baseball heads to Montreal in a stadium full of people, his 19-year-old son, one of the best prospects in baseball, in the bottom of the ninth, does this in Montreal. Oh, uh, a monster blast. Yeah. He's I believe wearing his number, right? That's pretty cool. All of it. All of it is moving and parental, and we will forget it as soon as we come back from commercial. <laughs> so I don't want to say this, but you got to kind of wonder, like, that might have been a freebie, right? Oh, I was well, like, you nice don't want to say it, but you said it anyway. What I do you mean? mean? I mean, look at what do you mean? Right you think that, was, oh, that was, you think that was a groomed pitch? What a nice you, moment. Wow. Unbelievably cynical. I Mon mean, Montreal gets a good baseball moment once every 15 years, and guess who's here for you, Montreal? I'm just saying. Like, uh, like this is the movies. You guys cheated. The one time we gave you a good baseball moment, you cheated. Just asking questions. Unbelievable. Get her off the television. Oh, his father, 
he was so proud of him, you know. <laughs> I mean, I wish I would have yeah, had the I'm same feeling. You know, but <laughs> I you know, never, you know. never, you I never could play any sport. You know, I look at yeah. his picture. You know, I know he's he beautiful. Goes back, yeah. I look at his yeah. picture and say, look at the kid. You like know, he was a baby, and now he's a superstar. Right. You know? And instead, and all yeah, all you got is like an infomercial studio here. here on the beach. Here, yeah, I know. That's right. Life sometimes is not fair, yeah. you know. <laughs> Coming up next on Highly Questionable. Nelson. Can you spell it out that Nelson way? Here. Really Nelson, Nelson, come here. Good about my job. <laughs> he, uh, he, uh, does he know oh. what he's doing? Is he hurting what anybody? A good boy. And Nelson does not know what he's Nelson. doing. Nelson is not a good boy. Nelson is a scared boy. No, they're following no, him. Nelson's he's a, a leader. No, Nelson. He's a leader. That is not. In, that is not correct. Nelson wants to play. <laughs> my son's TV show is brought to you by Modelo Especial Brew with a fighting spirit. Since 1925. Ryan! I don't know how else to say this, so I'll just say it. What is it, Linda? I think we should see other people. Are you breaking up with me on a roller coaster? Well, we do have a lot of fun. Maybe we should stay together. An emotional roller coaster? Surprising. What's not surprising? How much you could save by switching to Geico. I just need a little me time. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Time to play the game that put out a lot of good tape today. Do you question? You give us topics and events, so we question them. I don't know what that phrase means. Do you question if leaving this would make hockey more exciting? If leaving this would make hockey more exciting? Is there a word missing from this question? What was left at hockey? <laughs> Oh, oh there it is. Oh, okay. Boy. I was thinking to myself, oh, yeah, right. what could be left <laughs> on hockey and would this make it wow. more exciting? Wow. Oh, what a gratuitous it, effort it, by the producers. The question should be, would you guys like to see a video of a dog pooping on ice? This is a strong metaphor for the hockey coverage on this show. Respect the question and answer the question. Do you question if leaving this would make hockey more exciting? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what kind of television show are we doing? <laughs> are you kidding me? This will be something great for hockey. You know, you you can pick it up with your stick and no, flip it right. over. <laughs> that get it on, uh, on one of your opponents, you know, like that, you know. Or in your yeah. skates, you know, just like go just check, it off, major. check it off one of your yeah. skates, you know. Yeah. Hit the face mask, you know, the mask of your opponent. That'd be hell. Oh, Plus you smell all the way you smell through the, through the game, you know. That, that'd be different. That, that, that'd right. put a lot of butts on seats. Are you kidding me? Strategic element. That's right. I don't think that would put a butt in the seat. Do you question if Lonzo Ball could learn from this person? Okay. Can Lonzo Ball learn from this person? Who is this person? What is the situation? Oh, this is a shooter. This is a gunner. Yeah. Oh, my God. Look at that. Wow. A machine. Wow. Yeah. Sister Jean, watch out. Yeah. <laughs> she, she's like automatic a menace like automatic she, it's auto oh there's a miss oh yeah she's a monster that's a monster score 396 that's the number on the right side i love we took this awesome video and made it about mocking lonzo ball could uh, he learn from her? what a good reveal by mina there what does this have to do with lonzo ball <laughs> Well, I mean, that was a technique that uh, Kobe Bryant used, you know what I mean? Oh, he that is how Kobe shooting, did it. Shooting, that's shooting, right. That shooting, is. Shooting, that is. You just keep shooting. shooting. That's superstar. That's, that's right. it. I mean, that, so is, knock it, you know? that is the Kobe right. model right, right there. The this that's isn't right. even basics. footage. Yeah. You think it's footage of an old woman with a right, right arm? No, this yeah. is Kobe's entire career right that's here. Right. right there. Every possession. She's probably there every day. Look at that. He wishes that this is what it was. This is what fills Kobe Bryant's dream. Just being able to shoot again and again at the same basket without an in five years, we'll have a video of Carmelo doing this. That's right. That's right. In five years, we will have another video. Carmelo's going to be at the Papa Shot Arena. It's going to be so sad. And then we'll finally give him credit. <laughs> Do you question if Nelson knows what he's doing? All right, let me explain something to you. We do a television show every day here, and sometimes the days are light. And this particular segment consists of dog poop so far on hockey ice, a Papa Shot woman, and Nelson the Sheepdog. So let's check in with Nelson the Sheepdog. Nelson. Can you spell it out that Nelson way? Here. It really Nelson, makes me come feel here. good about my job. <laughs> He, uh, he, uh, does he know oh, what he's doing? Is he hurting what anybody? A good boy. And Nelson does not know what he's Nelson. doing. Nelson is not a good boy. Nelson is a scared boy. No, 
no, leader. Nelson's He's a, a leader. Don't, no, Nelson. He's a leader. That is not. In, that is not correct. Nelson wants to play. No, the he's sheep alpha. Th- no, no, he's, Nelson he's doesn't doing, know what he's doing. You're doing great, sweetie. He, no, he's supposed to lead them somewhere. Yeah, there he is. No, he's leading he's them on the exercise. he's just wearing out the sheep, making them thinner so they're less good to eat later. Oh, no, he's showing them the way. Good job, Nelson. <laughs> I don't think that Nelson knows what he's doing, but this guy does. What guy? Oh. What guy are we talking about? Hopefully another dog. Oh yeah, this guy definitely. There is not another dog. But this guy's got. Some, this guy's got a trained duck situation. And oh my god. Okay, you want to replay of that? I need to see that again. So those ducks are chickens. He's got everyone. Wow, those are ducks marching in order. Hold on a second. Nina wants to see this from the beginning again. This is amazing here. Scattered ducks, scattered okay. ducks. Oh, yes, it is a fire drill. What? Let me explain something to you. If you had a country and a military and all the other country had was this guy and these ducks, you would lose. You and your country and your military would lose to what he's doing with these ducks. All that amazing intelligence turns into at the other end of that barn sandwiches. Highly questionable is broadcast from the Clevelander Hotel on beautiful South Beach, Miami. Time to play the game. Who knows who bit Beyonce? See? Oh, no. He did. He bit Beyonce. You tell us. Ooh, confirmation. You tell us what to watch on TV tonight. We'll tell you if we're intrigued. Tomorrow on Sun Sports, opening day baseball, Red Sox and Rays. No, oh, Puppy likes that. He likes opening day. It's yeah. a national holiday. We're not even going to be here tomorrow. Puppy's going to be drinking at the old ball game. What do we have here? Mookie Betts being interviewed during a game. I wanted to, but um, <laughs> because, yeah, I mean, it's etiquette, you know, right. bowling etiquette. You can't. Right. Uh-oh. There you go. I, I, I ain't getting this one, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Get on your horse. That is so great. I ain't getting this one, boys. It's such a great thing to say breathlessly through a microphone. Mina, are you intrigued? Yeah, I want a camera on him and everyone else throughout the entire game. Obviously, we would probably see a lot of scratching and some stuff we wouldn't want to okay, see. Some stuff. Teams might not be okay with it because that would happen, but it would be entertaining. But I was wondering what Mookie Betts thought about bowling etiquette, and they asked him right there during the game. Pop, are you intrigued? Oh, see, see, I'm very intrigued. Are you kidding me? That's a hell of an idea. They should have the whiffer my cup, you know? So every time he swings yeah. and misses, yeah. oh, oh, I thought I had that oh, one. Jean-Claude oh, that was a close oh, one. How did that happen oh, again? I struck out again, oh, you know? Oh, yeah. That's going to be a hell of a... <laughs> Yeah. Hell of a thing in New York. You know, everybody knows what goes through his mind when he swings and misses. <laughs> Hear the whiffs. Tonight on NBC Sports Philadelphia, Knicks and 76ers. Oh, the Knicks. I always want to watch Joel Embiid uh, play basketball. But let's check in during a recent Sixers game with one of those fan shooting contests. What happened during a fan shooting contest during one of the intermissions? Okay, all right, Fox, starting off strong. It's the layup. Okay, it's your turn. You got to get tagged, 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 tagged. All right, there you go. All right, Taylor, you got to hit this foul shot right here. Stay focused, stay focused. All right, take your time. Plenty of time on the clock. Okay. You got 15 seconds. It's okay. Focus, focus. You're good, you're good. Keep going. A little closer, a little closer, a little closer. Okay. There you go. You got it. You got it. Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh! Wait a minute! Oh! <laughs> and then we got a proposal. Oh, that is disorienting. <laughs> what did she say? She said yes. 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 Philadelphia. Yes. yes. It was a proposal. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Love wins. Oh, Love wins. Wow. Would have been funnier if she said no. They ruined with their joy all my Markel Fultz jokes. How long he would have been there before we would have gotten to that. Mina, are you intrigued? Yeah. Markel Fultz would not shoot his shot in that situation. Poppy, are you intrigued? Oh, what would have happened if the lady had missed that shot? That would have happened. If the guy would have said no, or the, no, the, the she would have said no. <laughs> she would have been uh, sobbing. I missed the free throw. Been yelling at him. Tonight on ESPN, the McDonald's All-American game. Oh, you might be saying to yourself, how can I possibly hate Duke more than I already hate Duke? Coach K ain't messing around late in life, man. He's got the number one prospect in America, the number two prospect in America, the number three prospect in America, and they're all playing right here in this game. Let's check out a montage. 
That's Jay Barrett. He's the number one guy. I thought Zion Williams was the number one guy. He's the one I like the best. Same reddish. Has some Justice Winslow in him. And then Zion, yeah, this guy. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. I don't, I just don't understand how that guy is in high school. That's correct. That is the correct, that is the correct response to have to that. I don't understand how that's the number three prospect in the country. Mina, are you intrigued? Mm. No, but at least Duke fans will have something to watch now that the team's out of the tournament. Oh, wow. Zinger, Poppy, are you intrigued? Oh, see, see, I'm very intrigued. Listen, I don't care about the game, but I really care about McDonald's. You know, that's my favorite place. Yeah, to, he, he, to, he, that's he right, to go on it. You yeah. know, I mean, you yeah. can get Quarter Pounder, you got Big Mac, you can get a lot of French fries, you got the filet of fish, you know. You can get, oh, I'm Careful telling you something. Careful with the filet of fish. Oh, Careful. a lot of shakes, you know, kind of shakes there, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, you know. Oh, those French fries there. There and then you got the uh, the so called chicken nuggets. Oh, oh the chicken so nuggets, they're good too. Chicken oh. nuggets, <laughs> an apple pie. Oh, yeah, that's apple how pie. you finish it. Wow. Big apple finish. Pie. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. apple pie. Oh, oh, oh. Well, you can get a salad there too now. Just the other day, you said your favorite was Shake Shack. What about Shake Shack? Oh, that too, Shake Shack too. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching. Our thanks to Mina Kimes, ESPN the magazine. Check her out. We are off tomorrow, but we will be back on Friday. Mina, I know that we always get you, but, you know, no hard feelings. Put it there. No, that's not going to work. That's not no? going to work. No. You're... Oh! oh! She got me. <laughs> you really thought I would fall for that? Really? <laughs>